In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a beauty flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You might want to download it and in case you do any practice and you want to show it up to me you can hit me up on instagram twitter or tiktok now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so this is going to be a very simple design first thing we are going to do is we're going to set our project to do that control n and then you are going to set your sizes for this you can use either eight by eight or let me make it simple four by four inches over here so you can just create something simple like this Afterwards, you go ahead and then you click on create. Now you're going to be welcomed with this space. And the first thing we are going to do is we are going to set up the background. For that, we are going to use a gradient for the background. To do that, you head over to the bottom part over here. You're going to see the create new fill adjustment layer. And then you're going to select that and choose gradient. Now you're going to click on your gradient bar and then you're going to scroll down. If this is your first time, you're not going to see anything here. But if you've already installed or if you've already created a couple of gradients, you should see something like this. Now you're going to select any of the gradients. In this case, we are using this one. And in case you want to use the same colors, this is the first hex code. And this is the second hex code. Afterwards, you click OK and then OK from here. We are going to reverse this. Go to the style and change to radial. And then let's uncheck the reverse so we are going to have something like this okay you can open the scale up a little bit so somewhere around say 122 should be fine and then you go ahead and then you click okay we are not going to add any further background or external background so we can go straight to creating the other shapes the first shape we are going to create is the rectangle so you go to the rectangle tool over here and you select your rectangle and then you can create a very small simple rectangle like that this is the color that we are using in case you want to use the same thing as well so you can click ok from here and get rid of these ones okay so we are going to make a duplicate of this same rectangle ctrl j to do that you press ctrl t you hold shift and then you can transform it from the right to the left somewhere around here and then you hit on enter now you are going to double click on the layer thumbnail and you select a color from here okay and what you're going to do is you're going to bring it in slightly like that now you can zoom in some more press ctrl t and then make sure that you close it up we want it to be very thin so something like this and then you are good to go now let's select our first rectangle and make it a bit smaller like so this is fine now the next thing we want to do is we want to insert the first set of images on the left side which is going to be in this rectangle okay so to do that you're going to use the rounded rectangle so you head over to the rectangle section over here you select your rounded rectangle now the radius is currently at 100 percent so if you create a rectangle this is how it's going to be like if you like it this way you are good to go but then we want to reduce this to about 50 percent and then we can create something like this okay so now you're going to position it over here you don't need to worry about the color because you can change it anytime okay so we are going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate drag it hold shift and drag it down slightly like that and then make one more duplicate ctrl j and then you can drag it down again slightly like this now we can select the three by holding shift and selecting all and then you can open it up slightly like that and then you can press ctrl g to group that press ctrl a and make sure that you center it vertical centers now after that you press ctrl d and then you make sure that it is positioned very neatly like this now one more thing we can space it out a little bit because you are going to add gradient to it i forgot to talk about that so you can space it out with the arrow keys so something like that should be fine and if you feel like it is not spaced out evenly you can select all of it go to layer go to distribute and distribute it vertically so the spaces are going to be the same okay now it's time to insert the images so let's select the first rounded rectangle go to file place embedded and then we can select our image so the first image is going to be this one right over here you can scale it down and bring it on top of the rounded rectangle you right click on it and then you create a clipping mask press ctrl t 
and then you take your time to transform it neatly like that so something like this is fine and then you can leave it over there now let's rename this so that it doesn't take a lot of space so on the rounded rectangle over here we can right click go to the blending options and then you can add a stroke to it so for the stroke we are going to choose a color from here so somewhere around here should be fine click ok and then you can reduce the size it doesn't have to be that big so something like that is okay and then you can click ok now let's select the second rounded rectangle go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your second image so let's bring this image right over here take your time to resize it that's why i told you earlier that you don't need to worry about the color of the rounded rectangle because it is not even going to show so you press ctrl t take your time and transform it and now all you need to do is come to the first rounded rectangle hold alt and then you can drag it to the rounded rectangle that we just worked on and it will copy the effect onto it as well and now you can do the same thing for the third rounded rectangle We can select these three and then push it to the left side a bit so that it creates space on the right side for us to put our test and the rest of the information so once we're done with this we are going to create our test so you choose your test tool and the first one that we're going to use is called black sword so you paste your test right over here press ctrl t and then you take your time to transform it now you can position it somewhere around here and it's fine let's right click on that go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay to it so we select our gradient overlay click on the gradient bar and then you can scroll down to add the gradient that we used for this particular test so you select the gradient right over here you click ok and over here you're going to set this to zero okay and then you're going to uncheck the reverse over here and for the scale you're going to unscale it bring it back somewhere around here you can leave it somewhere around here and let's increase this to 100% the opacity is going to be 100% after us you go ahead and then you click on ok now we are going to make a duplicate of this ctrl j bring it down and we are going to change that to beauty parlor for that font you are going to use a font called delirium i'll leave links in the description if you want to download all of these so we are going to use this one right over here make sure it is centered and it is also going to use the same color ok but it looks a bit too closed so let's select all of that go to the toggle character and set this to 0% or 0 or better still let's make it minus 20 minus 20 is fine you press ctrl t and then you can open it up slightly if you want to so starlight beauty parlor like this it's fine next up we make a duplicate of this drag it down right over here and then we are going to change this one to our services i'm going to select that make sure it is center aligned press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it smaller a bit and then position it somewhere around here now underneath of this one we are going to create a rectangle so you select your rectangle tool and then you are going to create a very simple nice rectangle under this okay so we are going to drag it underneath of it and then the colors are not really matching so we are going to right click on the test layer and we go to clear layer style in this case it is going to clear every effect that has been applied to the test and this is fine and we want the effect on this on the rectangle so what we can do is we can hold alt and drag it to the rectangle and then it applies it on it now you take your time to position your test and you are good to go so next up we are going to list the services and for that we are going to use a font called century gothic so you are going to paste your test right over there and then you take your time to position it somewhere around here which is fine now you are going to bullet this one so unfortunately photoshop doesn't have a straight bullet in so what you can do is you can select your rounded rectangle over here or your ellipse or ellipse to and then you start creating your own bullets okay so we are going to use the same coffee brown color that we are using for all the design you make a duplicate and then you can drag it over here you can select the two press ctrl j and drag it somewhere around here you make one more duplicate and drag it down like that then you can push it up and take your time to position every one of them 
and then for the last one you make a duplicate of the, of the last one and bring it somewhere around here and now you can select all of these and group it you can as well add a test to it so the test and the circles all go in the same group let's start we want to create three simple rectangles underneath of this one so you go and select your rectangle tool and then you're going to create a simple rectangle like this now you make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it to the right side and you make one more duplicate drag it to the right side just like we did for these ones we are going to add a stroke to each of them you don't really have to worry about the color because it is not really going to show so you can select all the three and open it up slightly if you want to and make sure that it is positioned well now let's select the first rectangle go to our file place embedded and then into our resources and then we can add our first image right over here so you right click and then you can create a clipping mask press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely like that so it is going to be a combination of hair and nails that is why we are bringing the nails over here so for this rectangle we right click go to the blending options and then you can add a stroke to it okay the stroke the same stroke that we added to this one you can add the same thing to this and then you can click ok now let's go to the second one go to file place embedded and then you can add your second image so let's add this nail over here right click and create a clipping mask you press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely and again we hold alt drag the fx on this onto the rectangle the second rectangle so that it creates the stroke and now we can do the same thing for the third one now you can select from the first image to the first rectangle that you created and then you can group that as well so all of it is going to be in the same group if you want to open it up or transform it you can easily do that now the last thing that we're going to add to this will obviously be the contact details and the location and that is going to be very simple you choose your test tool so t for the test tool and then since i've already typed the test you're just going to paste it right over here i press ctrl t transform it neatly and position it somewhere around here but the white is not really blending with the background so what we can do is we can go and copy this fx the effect on this one right over here you hold alt and then drag it onto the location so that it copies it straight onto it and just like that you create a very simple flyer for yourself or your clients let me know your thoughts about this flyer what do you think about this and in case you practice and you want to send it to me you can reach out on instagram twitter or tiktok thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video don't forget that links to download all the resources the fonts and everything used will be in the description if this video was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye